Well, to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, we are featuring several Hispanic-owned businesses in Tampa Bay. And on your side, Brianna Villegas is at Loli's Mexican Cravings, Cravings in Temple Terrace with how food influences Hispanic culture. What you got cooking there, Brianna? Hey, guys. So I wish you all could smell just how amazing it is. It's cooking up in here. This is awesome. So this is their chips and guac. This is Loli's chips and guac. Super good. You can taste the lime that's in this. Here to tell us a little bit more about how food influences Hispanic culture is Miguel Miranda. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for being here. We're happy to have you. Oh, of course. You know, no complaints here. Tell us, what, what is all this beautiful food? So closest to me, we have our famous tamales, which is really how Loli's became known. And that's actually the, the fame for it. So. The pork tamale, which is actually my favorite, it's amazing. We Ooh. have the chicken, uh, as well as the uh, chile rellenos, which is the ground beef. But we're introducing our newest one, which is the vegetarian. You know, people want it. Some people actually want to have a different option. This is full of fresh vegetables, mainly sautéed on mushrooms. Incredible flavors with all our homemade sauces. That's where our sopes, our tacos, and as you said, our famous chips and guacamole. So I was telling you a little bit more about how, you know, I'm Mexican as well. My mom would make these uh, sopes that were right here. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about how Hispanic Heritage Month, what it means to you and your coworkers? Uh, you know, b being here in the United States as Hispanic, uh, immigrating here, it's, it means a lot the fact that we can share our culture with others and share what makes our, our I guess, our background so, so great, especially in the flavor in the food. We have so much uh, to add. Uh, different spices and everything else. I think it's awesome. And watching the reaction of people who are not from here taste this and wow, this is amazing food. I never would have had something like this if you guys hadn't made it. I think that's awesome. We can get to share that experience. So how can others celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and give that thank you to, you know, the Latinos, the Hispanic <laughs> people that brought all of these flavors here to the U.S.? Well, I would say go out and look for places that are authentic. Find out, you know, that little uh, small restaurant that makes amazing food. So I'd love for you to come to El Lolis. As you know, we have another location opening soon. Uh, and this weekend, actually, will be the Gasparilla Music Festival. We'll also be selling tacos there as well. So come check out and find out where the Hispanics are at and the great food's at and enjoy it. So and much to try out and Definitely. so many flavors. So before we go, I'm going to give this a little bit of a taste. Oh, yeah. So if you do want to come down to Loli's, they open their locations at 11 a.m. and they do close at 9 p.m. And I'll have more information on locations on our WFLA app. In Temple Terrace, I'm Brianda Villegas, 8 on your side.